Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video all about your love story. So this is going to be what you've been through in love, what you're going to go through in love, what you can expect, all that jazz. So let's get started. So I'm also going to be putting some tarot and things as well and I'm also going to be putting some crystals on the cards. So let's do that now. So let's put the crystals on now. Okay, so we have the crystals on now. So we have group number one with the amethyst. Group number two with the blue gold stone, group number three with the jade, and group number four with the normal gold stone. So please choose your group and let's get started with your love reading. So starting off with group number one with the amethyst. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So this is going to be your love story. So we have the amethyst here. Amethyst I feel like is a really relaxing crystal. It's really a crystal of spirituality, it's about expression, it's about releasing all of those toxins and it's really good for kind of helping you and assisting you with your spirituality and it's really good at negating any kind of negative energies i think negating is the right word <laughs> okay so let's start off with your oracle cards let's have a look at your love story okay so we have inspiration we have strength persistence and hope so for you guys it's been a really tough road it has been quite difficult for you guys um, it's not been the most easiest uh, for some of you guys you haven't probably ever been in a relationship you haven't been in a very long-term relationship or any sort of relationship that felt very authentic and you're really being persistent with you giving yourself love so you don't have to rely on anyone else and it's giving yourself the strength to move forward and persistently moving forward and consistently moving forward without anyone kind of telling you like this is wrong and things like that. I am seeing that there's some sort of issue with a father figure as well that you're kind of dealing with. So I do see that as some like a really, really strong message. Okay. Um, I see the hope card is, is kind of coming out really strongly. It's like this is coming through everything. So everything that you've been through is leading you up to this hope energy. It's leading you up to you being with your person and being with the right person that really suits you. And the persistence is saying that everything you've been through is for the good. It's like it's, it's been worth the journey. And yeah, it has taken a lot of strength to get through this, but it's all worth it. And everything is worth fighting for. And not even fighting for it. It's just... When, you, when I say fighting, I mean that in the most like positive way possible. I mean that in a way where you can actually get to where you want to go and really um, bring in that strong energy and just be really, really hopeful that things will turn around, okay? So next cards we have are egotism, intuition and discovery. So I feel like for you guys, you may um, meet your person through a, I feel like past life and pick up on past life for you guys. Um, I feel that like it is also to do with your somebody who you meet online, somebody who's abroad, and they have. I think you're dealing. Okay, there's so many messages coming through. Okay, one message at a time. First message is that some of you guys you could meet somebody through abroad. You could also be with somebody as well. You could already be in a relationship. Um, but for some of you guys, I feel like it's definitely an energy of meeting somebody abroad doing something abroad and then that's kind of giving you more um confidence because you're traveling and things like that but i also feel like there could be you meet somebody from a different country but they don't actually have to be living in that country it could mean that their parents are from a different country therefore they may not look like the origin of that country that they're living in um but they are looking quite uh foreign and then we have the intuitive card which shows me that all the things you've been through are actually, is actually heightening your intuition and it's actually heightening everything you've been through. So it's all worth the journey, it's all worth it. And then we have egotism as well. So this card is showing me that there's definitely an element of not having to judge yourself if things go wrong and not judging other people with their situations as well. And obviously I'm not saying you guys are judging people, but there may be a situation where you... And also I think as well, it's like putting yourself in other people's shoes and just understand that that's their stuff and also you may have dealt with people who have a very high ego um, you may have dealt with narcissistic females or men who are just well very narcissistic and basically treat you like poop <laughs> um, but yeah I feel like that's that's really changing for you guys and you're starting to realize why you've gone through all of this stuff as well beautiful so there's definitely some new opportunities for you guys with your heart chakra 
Um, definitely some new opportunities for you guys. It's coming through really, really strongly. So I absolutely love that. It's really, really positive. And this just feels like everything you've gone through is worth it. So don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. So we're going to have a look into who, you, what you're dealing with or who you are. And then we're going to have a look into your future person or possibly a person that you're already dating. Okay, so we have the nightingale. So that's you. And then your person is the black egg. So both of you are learning to um, go into kind of hermit mode and learning to deal with your emotions. Underneath we have the fire ant. So you're basically learning to deal with all these emotions that are coming up, okay? So for you, you're learning to speak your truth. For them, they're learning to deal with their emotions internally. You're learning to kind of speak outward. They're learning to go inward. And both of you, I feel like, are going inward, but I feel like this person here you can also change the uh, people along as well whoever you resonate with most it feels like there's definitely throat chakra energy and root chakra energy here like this is somebody who is really working on their throat chakra really learning to speak their truth really learning to express themselves it could be solar plexus energy as well express that creativity the black egg is also showing me that there's some sort of internal struggle that this person's going through, but they're coming out as a new person. They're not going to be the same person that they were before. And they're really expressing themselves fully. And it's, it's really, really beautiful. It feels very um, expressive and very... It just feels really nice. It feels like this person is meant to go through this. Um, it's not comfortable. And it feels like you're almost sitting on the egg, which is beautiful. So it's like you've already come out of that. But for some of you guys, you could be in hermit mode right now. But I do feel that when this person kind of cracks open this egg, endless possibilities. You, you and this person are going to be brand new people, I feel like. So it's almost like you've learned all the stuff you need to learn, but now you're putting it into practice and the universe is like, okay, what can this person deal with right now? And you know, let's test this person and see what they're going through. So let's see what's kind of coming for you in love. Let's see what you've got to look forward to. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So working hard on your on your work or your emotions, anything like that. Let's put these animal cards up here so you can see them. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, lots of nines. We actually have the nine here for discovery. It's kind of like you're being let loose and you're able to really express yourself. Oops, that fell on the floor. Bear with me a sec, guys. Okay, we have Judgment. Okay, let's pull these along. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, Judgment. Let's get one more. I think your person's going to be in this card. I've got a really strong feeling. Because it's almost like you're realising what your power is. Okay, so you're still you're still working on your emotions here. So I do feel like both of you and your person who you're going to be meeting or have already met, I feel like both of you are working on the same energy, which is obviously why you two are going to get be together because you're both the same person. It feels really, really beautiful. Let's get one more card. I do feel like you guys are working on empowerment. Yeah, we had the Queen of Cups. So for some of you guys, you could be a water sign. You could be attracting a water sign. This is really beautiful. So very, very beautiful energy. So what I'm feeling is once you've come out of this energy um, of feeling kind of constricted and constrained and like just feeling really stuck, I feel like you guys are going to have a really beautiful, a beautiful um, connection with this person. It feels like you're getting what you have been putting into all the effort and the, all the work you've been doing emotionally is going to bring you to your person. And um, it feels like the eight of pentacles here is showing me that this energy here is like working on something and working hard on it because he's like hammering it. So it can feel like, okay, constant, constant effort. Like why is nothing changing? But actually when you do, and when you've done enough, you're going to be shown that by the universe. And with this page of wands, it's showing me that there's like ultimate um, discovery. Like you'll be able, you're able to discover this new part of you and able to put it into practice with this new person coming in. And you're just gonna feel really fulfilled. Like you don't actually need anyone to be happy but you're, you're just like completely in your own energy. And you may feel right now that you really need someone, but by the time you're done with this, you're not gonna feel like you're gonna need anyone, okay? And we also have the fire ants. So you guys are really working hard, but try not to be too competitive because I feel like, not to like judge yourself or judge other people or compare yourself and say, oh, they're in a relationship or their relationship's really nice because you never know. You never know what people are going through. You really don't. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below and my crystal shop as well. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon.
Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. We have the gorgeous blue goldstone. I love this crystal. It's so, so pretty. It's all sparkly. I absolutely love it. So let's get started with your love stories. This is going to be for um, what you what you got coming towards you, what you're going through right now, all that jazz, everything. I'm going to try and include everything as much as we can. Okay, so let's get started. As, as I always say, this is a general reading, so I just take it as it resonates. Okay, we have memory and we have patience. Okay, you guys are going through something quite deep. I don't feel like it's anything too intense. It may be, but it feels like you guys have really learned to let go of the past. Um, and have patience with yourself and know that it's not a straight line. So sometimes you'll feel really down and you'll be like, why am I missing my ex or why am I missing this certain person? And that's okay. It's not always about the actual person. It can just be the feeling. Like what's the feeling that's coming up? Is it abandonment? Is it sadness? Is it confusion? Is it doubt? Is it impatience? You know, all that, all those sort of emotions. Look into those emotions and see actually what is this emotion that's being shown to me? And what am I? why am I having to deal with this? Like what is this showing me? You know, and what is this emotion that I'm feeling so that's what I'm feeling for you guys really really strong energy and the memory here is showing me that this is something that's really deep it could be something that you're having to like scoop up and having to like draw it out of your body so you'll really learn to release whatever this is and I just burped so I feel like that's clarification I normally burp when it's clarification only when I burp and I'm getting also getting Ooh, really hot as well so definitely um some deep stuff going on for you guys for group number two um and it's also you're not comparing yourself to how you were in the past or not comparing um like not comparing or judging yourself if you're not getting to a place quick enough because your person's going to come to you when you're ready okay definitely going to come to you when you're ready and also you might be getting memories from the past that may trigger you so just work on those emotions as they come up but it's not going to be anything too bad you're going to make new memories yeah you guys are quite impatient or you're feeling quite impatient and you're like okay why is this not happening so for some of you guys you could be dealing with a toxic relationship you could be also quite cautious of any new people that come in because you've dealt with toxic people and all I say to that is to just be very, very kind to yourself and know that not everyone is going to mess you around and that to just be really patient with yourself and be patient with this energy and that when it's the right person, you'll, you'll just know when it's the right person. So I feel like being cautious of how you're reacting to things as well. So the emotions that come up might not actually be like practical. They might just be, I mean, all emotions are valid and they all have a reason as to why they're coming up. But they're not always logical because we can actually feel things from the past. We can actually pick up on energies from other people. So it might not even be your own energy. So just be really aware of that, especially if you're sensitive. And know that you may feel the need to be impulsive about possibly like dating someone really quickly or going on online dating and being like, okay, I'm just going to meet the first person. Like be very, very cautious of how you're reacting, guys. Because if you want to meet someone who's like long term, obviously you go on dating site. There's nothing wrong with that. But just be really cautious because um just be cautious of your own emotions and how you're dealing with it because you might just be feeling vulnerable you might just be feeling sad it might not have anything to do with um the person or the fact that you don't have a partner right now because if you can deal with those emotions when you get into this relationship it's going to be absolutely beautiful and it's going to be so 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 easy okay all right so we have calcite calmness all chakras i do feel like as well you guys are going to be manifesting someone who's quite extreme who's quite intense deep beautiful gorgeous sexy like so it's all the things that you want so i feel like you're gonna really manifest somebody really good i love that okay so we have calcite calmness all chakras this here is showing me that you guys are learning to be at peace with whatever's going on and learn to just calm with this energy here so the fact that we have calcite all chakras is showing me that your chakras are being cleared everything that you dealt with especially toxic energy especially toxic men females all of that you're releasing that and that's a, that's a big thing to release you know it's not not the most easiest thing to do so just be very patient with this and know that you are going to get through it and everything you've done is worth it okay it's not gone to waste and if you're feeling stressed, calcite is a really good crystal for you guys. So any white crystal, I mean, I highly recommend highly recommend calcite because it's so calming. Um, well, it literally says calmness as well because selenite can be a little bit too high energy. I also have my apophyllite here. I love this guy. Uh, apophyllite can also be very, very high vibrational. So those are really good for like connecting to your spirit, guys. But calcite is really, really good for kind of clearing and cleansing. I'm really I'm getting drawn to that. 
So let's have a look at your energy and let's see where you are. This one, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in there. All right, let's see what you're going through. Oh, lovely. Okay, you guys got the moth. I love the moth. Such a pretty card. And then let's see what your person's going through right now. Let's see who you're going to be dealing with. Oh my God, you guys are so similar. Oh, I love that. You guys are both night animals, air and night animals. So you could be really connected to the moon. You could be really connected to the night time. You could be a night owl. Like you could be somebody who stays up quite late. And we also have the sea serpent. So you could also have quite a lot of water in your chart. So the moth and the bat, very, very deep creatures, very, very deep animals. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the moth here is showing me that you guys are coming out of the darkness. You're learning to keep going and keep in flight. That's what I'm hearing. Keep in flight, keep going, keep finding your way through all the darkness. Because out of this, you're going to be this beautiful animal um, and energy that is free flowing and able to attract the most and um, most beautiful mate. <laughs> that's what they're saying to me. So it's like, like attracts like, that's what I'm hearing, like attracts like. So what you're giving off is what you're drawing in. So this bat here is also your person. So the fact that you two are both night animals, you're both flight animals as well, night and flight. <laughs> My guides like to rhyme as well, so that's fun. Um, night and flight animals, and you can also are looking for the light. <laughs> so the fact that the moth is kind of reaching out towards the light, the bat has the moon. I mean, it's all very synchronistic. So you guys, this could be your animals. So you could be looking out for moths or bats, depending on whoever you kind of like are more drawn to. This could be you, this could be you, whoever you're more drawn to. Um, but I also feel like you both are finding each other. So it's kind of like you've been through some really intense stuff. And because of that, you guys know the kind of value of love and you know the value of a long-term relationship and you may kind of feel I mean bats and moths they move very very quickly and they kind of like fly around like this like kind of everywhere and that could be that impulsive energy where you feel like you could just go 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 and it's it's just like calming down like calmness calming down after that energy and that surge and not going going through with the surge and if you don't feel like it's going to serve you um, obviously go with it if you feel like it's going to serve you guys if you want to kind of use it with creativity energy or sensual energy or exercise something like that um, but if it doesn't serve you and you know you're going to regret whatever you're doing with this impulsive energy just come back to yourself and think that this is all worth it everything that I'm going through is worth this time and it's worth the wait. It's not worth doing impulsive things because at the end of the day, I'm just going to regret it. It's just going to get worse. It's going to make my life harder. All that stuff. I love bats though. Bats are so beautiful and they're just very deep. They're very deep animals and they're very um, instinctual as well and also very instinctual. So both of you are learning to use your intuition to go forward and trust, trusting your intuition and yourself as well, which is really beautiful. So let's have a look at the tarot. Let's see what you're going through in love. Beautiful, very sensual energy with the Ace of Wands. I love that. Let's put these up here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, lots of number synchronicities at the moment. We have the Hermit. Yep, that's you guys coming out of the darkness. That's like literally the perfect perfect card for this animal this is literally the hermit i feel like both of these the moth i feel like is more of the hermit than the bat but both of them very very instinctual oh ace of cups beautiful i would say guys yeah it's definitely worth it all the stuff you're going through is worth it okay oops and i dropped one okay so we have the empress so you guys okay just drop them on the floor bear with bear with okay we have the hanging man so you guys are definitely manifesting somebody who is really strong Okay, you guys are really similar. You guys are just really, really similar. So you could be an earth sign, they could be a fire sign, or you could be a water sign, they could be a water sign. Um, I'm just picking up on pretty much every sign. Yeah, because I've got the air here as well. So pretty much picking up on all signs. So you guys have learned to work on your passions and be really kind to yourself. You then learn to walk away from things that no longer serve you, anything that's toxic, goodbye. You're like, nope, not having it. And you're basically speaking your truth. You learn to come out of the darkness and release yourself and release that hold on anything that no longer serves you. 
and then have the hermit and the ace of cups so you're going inward and you're really looking at those emotions that are attached to anything that you've dealt with in the past that has been toxic it doesn't have to be you're conscious of it it could be that you're unconscious of it but you might be feeling sensitive some days and then nonsense not sensitive some days you know it's very it's going to fluctuate because of the energies anyway I'm also picking up on the number 49 as well. It's really random, but I'm picking up on that as well. And like 1212, like that, sync, that kind of energy. I don't think we think we have two. We have one and we have the ace as well. Um, we have two aces. We have two sixes. Um, we have the emperor and the hermit and the hangman. So lots of uh, major arcana here as well. Um, and the emperor here is showing me that this person's going to be very fiery, very passionate. All of this stuff is worth it, guys. All of this stuff is so worth it. And I'm getting really hot. Oh, I normally get really hot when like the people like people start to meet. So that's why I'm picking up on that because I feel like you're meeting your person here. This person's gonna make you really, really happy. Like you're gonna be so happy that you met this person. And the hangman here is showing me that you may have a little think about if this person is the right person, but then over time you're gonna be like, nope, they're the right person. I'm gonna choose, consciously choose and have patience and also have patience in this energy as well like if you meet somebody you might feel the need to just jump at them and be really excited that's for some of you guys not all of you guys i think some of you guys will be like yeah i'm not too sure either or one of you guys will pick one of those um but you're going to be really happy with this person this is going to make you so happy i am fully in love with this guys and it's going to be amazing it's coming soon i really feel i think in about like probably like one to three months for some of you guys even maybe six months for some of you but if you feel like it's close i'm feeling one to three months uh, but it could be for some of you next year. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like a private reading, please let me know. Uh, all my information is down below as well as my crystal shop. Um, thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, grid number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your love reading. Let's see what's coming for you in love, what you've been through, all that jazz. So first of all, we have the jade. Jade is a very, very attracting crystal. So this is a really good crystal for attracting love wholehearted long term and yeah beautiful luck so anything that's like long term anything that is good for your soul that's what you're attracting okay so let's start off with the oracle cards and i'm also going to pull some tarot as well so starting off with these two we have oh i love these colors we have prosperity and we have compassion beautiful so that's the main thing that you're attracting for you guys i feel like you're attracting a lot of love you're attracting compassion for yourself so you've probably been working on your heart chakra your throat chakra and you're also possibly working on your crown as well i'm getting a lot of crown energy from this purple so you'll really learn to kind of dive deep and really focus on what it is that you want to work on like you're really working on something really deep here and it feels like you have been waiting a very long time to get to this place you may have had quite a lot of health issues mental health issues something like that but it feels like it's a long-term thing it's like you've been doing this certain same thing for a long 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 time and it's been hard to kind of get out of it so for you guys i really feel like you're working deeply on this and you're going to get a lot of prosperity because you're so compassionate like you've been giving out a lot of compassion to other people it's time for you to get that back okay okay so we have which way is it this way restlessness and enterprise both the number one so let's put these guys here so this is showing me here that you guys have a lot of intuitive, intuitive, you have a lot of intuition. Your intuition is going to lead you to your soulmate and your intuition is going to lead you to something brand new. Like it's going to lead you to where you need to go in terms of your person. So you might be feeling really restless right now with your relationships. You might be feeling really restless with your life. You might just be really tired of doing the same thing over and over again or just feeling like really stuck and it's time to start moving. I think you're going to start moving very, very soon. And you're going to end up, this is also reminding me of work. So for some of you guys, you might meet your person through work. Um, but I love this hand thing. It really reminds me of like palm reading. So you might actually be starting to do that. But also I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be really hands on with something. It could even be being a masseuse, a masseuse, a masseuse, <laughs> um, something to do with herbalist, something like that. But it feels really strong. It feels like you're really using your intellect to bring you to where you're going. So you have a lot of talents. You have a lot of things to bring to this world. And you're already going to use those within your work and career and life purpose, whatever you want to call it, to bring you to where you need to go. And I feel like this is just really, really positive. This is just really, yeah, really positive. You're going to attract somebody who's also very intelligent as well. 
beautiful. So for you guys, you could be meeting your person the next full moon or new moon. You could be really connected to Moonstone. Moonstone is really good for feminine energy. It's really good for giving you your feminine power and to help you be that feminine energy that you need to be. And it helps you to stand in your ground, especially when you're dealing with possibly toxic energies where you feel like maybe you need to look after this person but they're not treating you well, that kind of situation. That's really good for that as well. I also sell Moonstone on my shop, so if you're interested, that link is down below. Obviously, no pressure, but I just I absolutely love my Moonstone necklaces. Like, they're just really pretty and they're really um, nice to wear as well because they're so light and delicate. Uh, but yeah, so this is also the crown chakra, as I said, and that is a crown chakra there. So with the purple. So I feel like for you guys definitely tuning into your intuition, you're tuning into your emotions as well. And I feel like not to judge your emotions if, if you feel any restlessness or eagerness to, to be in a relationship. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's completely natural. We're natural beings where we're all naturally drawn to each other. And if it's the right time, then you're going to be you're going to be drawn to that certain person, you know. So don't like hate yourself for feeling that way. Be really kind to yourself and realise what those emotions actually are and if they're serving you or not. And also just know that every emotion is valid and that you can you can get through this guys okay so let's see what you're working with right now oh yes that was really quick i love that also we have two aries cards here so you could be an aries you could be attracting an aries but also with the aries energy this is showing me that this is going to be attracting somebody who's really really like in a leadership role or you could be the leadership role so just take it as it resonates okay so we're gonna pull one more card, which is your person. Both of you are really dealing, wow. Both of you guys are dealing with massive transformative energies. Your person is learning to take flight and to be independent, and that's the same for you as well. Both of you are learning to be independent and really work on yourself. And the golden egg is kind of reminding me of a bird where it's kind of like they're in that nesting energy and they haven't kind of been reborn yet. So this person or you are learning to deal with um, nesting and creating that really gorgeous energy where you can really be in your own energy that's it you're going to just be by yourself and learn to just be in your own energy and that's beautiful because you can really get to know what, what you want what it is you need out of life what your purpose is and even if you don't know any of these things as, as long as you're discovering them and you're being really in, interested in yourself that's the best energy that's the energy that we want okay um so we have the phoenix and the butterfly so this person's kind of torn between two energies they're kind of torn between impatience and um, impatience and patience this person definitely has strong aries vibes i really feel that could be you as well um doesn't have to be but really strong fiery energy so it could be a sag or a leo as well i'm feeling if if, if it's more of a fiery energy it's more of a sag or a sag or a aries okay so I'm going to read what the golden egg says as well. Let me just grab my book here. And we're going to see what the golden egg says. Because I feel like there's something in here that's going to give us a little bit more information. Because this is one of the... We also actually have two of the uh, spirit animals, which is um, beautiful. So both of you are learning to just... Oh, you're both learning to um, come into your own energy and understanding that you are a spiritual being. And that to learn to express that and be wholehearted around that and that you are allowed to express yourself spiritually like that you're allowed to do that you're not you don't have to push that away because it's important as much as your physical and your emotions are your spirituality is damn important you know because you are a spiritual being in a human body you are a spiritual being having a human experience so you are really really important okay so i'm going to read a little bit of the phoenix and a little bit of the golden egg so the freedom from suffering past karma reincarnation so i'm really getting drawn to the fact this is past karma this person is learning to completely release everything they've known that is negative any outdated beliefs any dna um kind of things are running through their ancestral line they're learning to really pull that out so that's literally the phoenix because they're having to die to come back out obviously not literally physically die but the phoenix it goes into the ashes and it rises back out again that is that person and that's the same for you you're literally both being reborn in different ways oh this makes me feel so excited okay so we have do not it says the phoenix represents the transformation of our past it doesn't mean running from it denying it or burning bridges with rage the phoenix employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and dedication tapas 
Okay, so this is actually to do with the root chakra, the phoenix, which makes sense because that is the, um, the ashes. So then the next one we have is the golden egg. So the golden, we actually have the black egg, which is, which one is the black egg? The black egg is the fifth chakra, which is beautiful, the throat chakra. And the golden egg is the fourth chakra. So that's the heart. Oh, lovely. Okay, so nurturing yourself. Message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. So it says to have a yoga practice, to um, be very kind to yourself. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long time. Listen to the message that you've been that they've been waiting to tell you beautiful so it said the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart chakra so it's basically bringing in that heart wholehearted energy and feeling safe this is giving me massive energy of feeling safe and dealing with that okay we had the lizard is this in reverse no it's not the upright okay so the lizard is a fiery energy as well so this is to do with dealing with heat it's to dealing with um, intensities and also just being okay with that and just being like yeah you know what this is part of my life this is part of my life purpose maybe I've just got to deal with it you know so it's all good it's all good so let's see what's going on for you guys with the tarot okay we have judgment I love that judgment is all about you getting your judgment day this is like okay she's been working he or she they have been working on your energy your emotions you've been working on things and you are ready to be reborn ready to be reborn bitches okay page of wands the magician a new start that's definitely the phoenix energy that that card full-on phoenix reminding me of aquarius as well for some reason you guys might be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, so you're learning to release any outdated beliefs. So you, uh, my guys just told me they need to release any outdated beliefs before they can actually gain any new knowledge and any new circumstances because you don't want to sabotage anything new coming in um, out of fear or out of judgment of yourself and any, any old emotions that you haven't dealt with. That's what you're dealing with right now. So if you're feeling quite down, confused, depressed, sad, or just downright done... <laughs> Um, know that once it shifts, you're going to be well on your way. Okay, so we have justice as the card underneath. That's really beautiful. So the owl is really showing me that you're becoming much more wise. You are probably getting a message from somebody as well coming in. So that could be how you meet your person. It could be online. We also have the two of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody is going to come from a distance. I love that. Okay, so I'm really being drawn. Oh, my knee's doing something weird. That's that's weird. I'm getting a tingling in my left knee, like just right at the end. That's that's really interesting. Okay, it's literally just in one spot that I was feeling it. Okay, so we have Judgment, Page of Wands, The Magician, Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. So massive, massive, massive changes. Massive amount of dealing with toxic energies that are no longer serving you. And you're going to be reborn, okay? You're coming into something that's much more stable. You are coming into a place where you're able to really release anything that no longer serves you. And you're coming off the wheel. You're coming off that endless cycle of, okay, dealing with somebody toxic, getting like getting hurt, feeling sad, then dealing with another person who's toxic, feeling sad, you know, and that kind of general energy. So that's going. You're realizing that now and you're managing to draw in something that's much more stable, much better for you, balancing the masculine and the feminine. And then we have you feeling much more stable, able to deal with things and manifesting relationships, not only a romantic relationship, but friendships as well. And then feeling really strong within those as well. I was literally, okay, this is so funny because I was just going to say I'm redrawn to these sunflowers in this reading and we literally have the sun, which is crazy. Got to listen to my intuition. <laughs> and then we have the world. So a massive amount of getting what you deserve. Absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for watching guys. Keep working on your heart sharp cross a really, really strong message. Um, I really hope you have a lovely day. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like a, um, if you'd like to have a look at my crystal shop, please do. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys have 
the goldstone. Goldstone is so pretty. It's really, really sparkly and I love it. Okie dokie. So let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you're going through. I'm also going to pull some tarot and stuff. I'm going to see what else wants to come through in your love life. So we have the card of grace and we also have the card of sincerity. So this is about you dealing with some situation with patience, with dignity, with maturity. So you might be kind of stretched with your emotions right now. You might be dealing with somebody who is very immature, who is really triggering you. And it could also, it doesn't have to be a certain person, it can just be your own emotions. You can be just battling with your own emotions and feeling quite stressed out because you may think that actually I'm not able to manifest this because if I was able to manifest it, why hasn't it come yet? And you're kind of being really sassy about it, which is totally fine, guys. Having impatience, very natural. So the grace energy is making me feel like you're going to get what you deserve and dealing with things with patience. So you might be feeling an impulsive energy to kind of just go for somebody and just really go into this relationship and just go, go, go. But actually part of you is like, no, we've got to slow down because if we want someone decent, we've really got to be mature about this, okay? And be very, very patient with ourselves, okay? And sincerity is just kind of like just looking at things from a far off view and not being too, like not being too closely into them. So you're not being swayed by other people's opinions of you or anything like that also don't listen to friends or family who tell you about relationships and put pressure on you to be in a relationship they're not worth your time okay we don't we don't want that negative energy all right so same with that grace energy and the sincerity we have assertion oh i love this okay so you guys may be going through a few arguments with people you may be going through some stressful situations but it's all there to test you. We have Mars in Cancer, we have Venus in Taurus, and we have the Sun in Aries. So that's really beautiful. So you're learning to be patient with this romance. There's so much romance coming for you guys. You're the only you're the only group who had romance, that card of romance. So that's beautiful. So you could be manifesting a Taurus, Aries, or Cancer as well. But it's like you'll kind of learn to deal with both sides of you. You'll learn to deal with the part of you that's like, nope, I'm not gonna get a relationship. And the other part of you is like, gonna be fine I'm gonna get a relationship it's all good it's all good really dealing with a lot of emotions guys you guys are really in like a, in a bit of a pickle right now <laughs> and if you guys who aren't from England know what pickle is it's basically just a mess <laughs> you guys are in a bit of a mess um so yeah there's a massive amount of romance here and it feels like you're learning to assert yourself as well with grace and dignity you know, it's kind of like you're learning to not just jump at things and just be like, oh, you're such a whatever. It's being like, actually, is this going to serve me? Is this worth my energy? Is this worth my time? Blah, de, blah, de, blah, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so definitely learning to assert yourself because we have the root chakra and the root chakra is all about getting what you want physically. It's about that depth. It's about getting grounded and also being grounded in arguments as well. If there's any arguments with people, just learn to just let it go, let it fly, and not to be too much in this energy because it's not worth your time, it's not worth the tension. And with a quarrel, you may be having a quarrel with a current partner if you are if you are already with somebody, or if you're living with somebody, I feel like you might be having arguments with them and just trying to relax in this situation because you are being tested. Anything that comes up that causes an emotional reaction is essentially a test because at the end of the day when we release that emotion and we let it flow and we acknowledge it and say that's okay this is valid it's not going to come up as much anymore and trust me i know i've dealt with it <laughs> so especially with the physical body you might be um working on your physical body you're going to be manifesting somebody who's um quite into exercise as well somebody who's very much into fitness and I feel like you guys are working on that too you could be working on a dietary plan um not restricting your diet but being very conscious of what you're eating and what you're kind of consuming in your body it could even literally be energies it could be just you're dealing with negative energies from people or any sort of situation that could be really causing your physical body pain so just be aware of that if you're getting like neck pain or anything like that just be just think is it is there somebody that's like giving me like a reaction an emotional reaction and therefore i'm getting this neck pain not to blame the person but if you're having an emotional reaction to something then you may be kind of needing to release whatever that is so this is the animal that you guys are dealing with. This is who you are. Swap them around if you need to. And this is your person. Beautiful. 
very fiery. I always see foxes as fire, but I'm pretty sure that's earth um, being represented here. And that's fire and the gazelle. So we also have the cheetah upright. So you guys are learning to kind of channel all this sacral chakra energy, all this root chakra energy. There's a lot of red going on. Like we have orange, we have red, we have a little bit of gold. It's all very kind of like golden within this group. So for a lot of you guys, you could be a fire sign. You could be just feeling very sacral chakra and want to just really express your creativity. So with the fox, I'm just gonna have a look and see what that says in the book because I feel like we need a little bit more information. So the fox is about smart, strong partner or mate, a wise teacher. Ooh, I did not know it was about mates. Okay, so this says the fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. Foxes are ideal partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Foxes do, don't do well when they slip away. So... It says here that the fox energy helps us to stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. So maybe you're dealing with um, releasing any old people who no longer serve you. When in balance, it says magical, ingenious, teacher, monogamous. To bring into balance partnership and connection. And we also have sneaky, unsure of their identity. So you guys may be feeling either of those. You may be feeling a little bit unsure. Don't rush into a relationship. That's what I'm hearing. Just don't rush into things. It's going to come when it's naturally going to come. I love the fact that we have um, a love kind of relationship here. I didn't actually know that there was in this deck that any of these were to do with love. So I love that. That's really beautiful. So the fact this is a love reading and you have the fox is like, wow, you guys are definitely going to be manifesting somebody very special. So the gazelle is about heightened awareness and ability. Oh, sorry. Heightened awareness and ability. Vulnerable. So we have graceful, perceptive, artistic, when out of balance, food allergies, insomnia, racing mind. To bring into balance, yin yoga, a cozy home, good food. So this person here, very similar to you, is also very sensitive. I feel like both of you are quite sensitive energies. You are going to be a really, you're just really intuitive and very, very strong. And dealing with some very intense energies, like both of you are just going through some really intense stuff. And yeah, it's, it's causing a lot of um, new energies to come in, but it feels really, really beautiful. Okay, so. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. You guys are gonna be manifesting a, an Earth sign, I feel, for some of you. Or a Fire sign, we have Aries. He kind of reminds me of this guy. And that's to do with uh, cancer. Oh, we have the uh, Hierophant. Lots of masculine energy here. And that makes sense with the root chakra. I feel like the root is very masculine. It doesn't actually have to be a male, by the way. It can just be a masculine person. So you're learning to be really kind to yourself and give to yourself what you've been giving out to other people and making it fair. You know, you've been going through a lot and it's time to give yourself that back. Okay, so we have Seven of Wands... We have the nine of pentacles. So this is kind of the energy that you're entertaining and what's your, what you're just kind of dealing with. So this, I feel like is both insecurities. I feel like not to push away people who may seem, just basically you may have been dealing with a lot of controlling or negative people and learn to know every, not everyone's like that and to just be in your own environment and know that everything you're putting into this world, you'll be getting out of as well. So we have the well, so ultimate emotional fulfillment, <clears throat> excuse me. We also have just dealing with um, some old energies, releasing all of that, bringing in somebody that's stable. And you're, I love the combination of the knight and the, and the high priestess. This kind of gives me Aquarius and like taurus -y Capricorn vibes. So I also feel like for you guys, there's some sort of emotional fulfillment. So because you've been working on yourself, you are able to give yourself what you have been lacking or what other people have been lacking to give you. And it's time to really focus on what your goals are and not to not to focus on when your person is coming in the timing nothing like that just know that you're being taken care of your person will come in when you're ready and you're going to manifest somebody who's very spiritual very highly evolved they're saying highly evolved what does that mean spiritual okay someone who is aware of their emotions um and you're going to be you just yeah you're just manifesting creativity as well so when you're in the flow i feel like this is when uh, yeah so, so many messages coming, okay. First one, you're dealing with creativity and you're working to work with that flow energy. 
you're also learning to ground your energy and knowing that your opinions are valid and what you're going through is valid and that if you're dealing with any struggles know that it's all worth it and it's going to pay off in the long run because what you're going through is leading you to your person okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and if you would like to get anything from my crystal shop or just have a little look at it i will be bringing in some new crystals and jewelry hopefully very soon thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you very soon bye